conjugate base of HSO4 negative is, if we talk about conjugate base, that can be formed by a particular species by removal of one proton from it. So, if we talk about HSO4 negative, in this case, if you remove one proton, it will form its conjugate base. After removal of one proton, it will form sulfate ion, so 4, 2 negative. And that is the conjugate base for this species. And this is the correct answer also, option 1. After that, question number 77. In the reactions, A is getting changed into B plus C, while another reactant, D, is there and it's getting changed into E and F. Total pressure at equilibrium are 80 atmosphere and 40 atmosphere respectively. Then ratio of their equilibrium constants is. First, we have to consider the reaction given here. A is getting changed into B and C. And for this particular reaction, the total pressure is 80 atmosphere. Just have a look on this given reaction. The reactant A is in the solid state. This is heterogeneous equilibrium. And the solid state will not cause any effect on the equilibrium constant. Even it is not creating the pressure also. So there is no role of this A on the total pressure of the gaseous substances. Now, if we talk about B and C, these are present in the equal molar concentration. If you look at the given equation, you will identify that. It means the pressure of B and the pressure of C, these two are equal and the sum of these two is 80. So, definitely their values are 40 atmosphere for each of these gases. Now, the pressure we have taken here, further let's take the next equation also that is D in the solid state is getting changed into E gas and F gas also. And in this case, the total pressure is 40 atmosphere just half of the previous one one more thing the reactant is also in the solid state here it means there is no role of this d on the equilibrium constant as well as this d is also not the participant in the total pressure of the mixture so only e and f are responsible for creating the pressure there so the total pressure is 40 atmosphere and the pressure of this e and the pressure of this f the sum of these two is 40. So, individually these are 20 atmosphere each. Now, after this, the equilibrium constant Kp for the first reaction would be the product of the partial pressure of B and the partial pressure of C. In the similar manner, the Kp value for the second reaction. Suppose the previous one was Kp1, this is Kp2. This would be the product of the partial pressure of E and partial pressure of F. Now, in the question it is asked to find out the ratio of these equilibrium constants. So, we need to find out the ratio of Kp1 to Kp2. It would be equal to. So, if we talk about this Kp1, it is a product of 40 and 40. This is 40 into 40 divided by what would be Kp2? It would be 20 into 20 because we have the values of Pe and Pf. So, it is 20 into 20. Now, this would be equal to 4 is to 1. So, what would be the ratio? That is 4 and that's given in option 3. Just choosing it as the correct one. And after this, it's a turn for next question. That's question number 78. Which among the following is a Lewis acid? We have different options given here. If you look at the first option, that is ammonium ion. Ammonium ion though has a positive charge, but it does not act as a Lewis acid because all the atoms have their complete octane. That's why it cannot act as Lewis acid. If we talk about this B2H6, B2H6 has boron atom. This boron has the deficiency of electron in case of B2H6 and due to which it acts as Lewis acid. Further, if we talk about H2O, oxygen has two lone pair and due to the presence of extra number of electron in the form of lone pair, it acts as Lewis base, not the Lewis acid. If we talk about NH2 negative, 
it also has the nature to lose electron to give a pair of electron and that's why it is acting as Lewis base. That's why it is not Lewis acid. So only one option we have that's correct here. That's absolutely correct. And that is option two. Let's take question number 79. pH of pure water at 37 degrees Celsius is assume Kw is 2 into 10 is power minus 14 and log 2 value is also given that is 0 0.30. We should always know that water contains equal amount of H plus ion and OH minus ion if we are considering that pure water is there and in that case the pH value for the water is equal to half of the pKw value. Kw value we already have that's given in the question. You have to assume it 2 into 10 to the power minus 14. So this pH is equal to half into pKw. pKw means negative log of Kw value. And this Kw value is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 14 molar. If you solve this, you will find out that this is equal to 6.85. And if it is so, we can easily choose option 4 as the correct option for this question. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 80, correct order of pH of 0.1 molar solution of following compounds is. We have taken same concentration of all of these compounds and these compounds are NaCN, then we have NH4Cl, NaCl and HCl. These four compounds are given here and this NaCN is the salt of strong base NaOH and a weak acid. This has the pH that is more than 7 because this is the salt of strong base and weak acid. Further we have ammonium chloride. It is the salt of weak base and strong acid. So the pH is less than 7 in this case. If we talk about NaCl, in case of NaCl it is the salt of strong acid and strong base. So this is the salt of strong acid and strong base and the pH is equal to 7 in this case. Further HCl is there, it's an acid. So definitely for this pH should be less than 7. Now these are the cases. So in this case if we arrange all of these then we will find out this HCl being acid. It has the least pH value while other three we have already compared. In this case, the maximum pH is there for NaCN with the maximum pH. After that, here's the turn for NaCl. Then there would be the turn for the next NH4Cl because it is the salt of weak base and strong acid. And after that, there is a strong acid. This would be the order where this order is given. If you check, then you will identify that this is given in option 4 and that's why this is our correct option. After this, let's take question number 81. 